So what's going on right here? Well, um, in Boost we trust. In Boost we trust. This. This? And what's this? This is a mystery. If you can solve this riddle, you win a subscription to our channel. <laughs> All you have to do is hit the subscribe button. So yeah, yeah. And also what you can do is just you know, go down below and... Click it. Put a comment. Oh, See, please. put a comment before we get to what's going on here and tell us. Tell us if you know what's going on. I wish you should put the Jeopardy music. I think you should put it in right here. Ba, ba. But we'll give you 14 seconds to tell us what you think right okay. now. All right, go. But anyways, what are we doing really? We're going to get fuel. Fuel? Yeah. When we're making a video about going to get fuel? Yeah. That's boring. Well, it's more than that. Is it? Is it yeah. a surprise? It's a surprise. I love surprises. Okay, then I'm going to go. It's a total surprise. We don't even know what we're doing. That's good. Most of the time. Okay, so here's what's going on, right? It's this. Here we are. We, so we pulled up. We kind of took our time because I'm like, how many people can pull up here and get E85? You told them what kind of gas we're getting? Blank it out. They'll okay. figure it out right now. Yeah. But now we got like 14 freaking people waiting here. So we got to be conscious of our surroundings and our peoples. Okay. Yeah. Someone ripped the hose off the other side, he said. Here Let you. me take this. Now, we're getting E85 right now. In case you didn't know, so that we could do some stuff, some stuff that we haven't done yet. And I just realized E85 is only two something a gallon, and like you said, we could have been running the Crown Vic on it cheaper. But what are you doing? We are gonna get some E85. Hello. I am. I've never pumped E85 before. I'm excited. Is it different? Does it come out like liquid gold? Is, no does it come out faster? I've never ever. I've never pumped it. I've never gotten any. I never feel used like, it. Okay, let me tell you. Never just, tried it, but I'm, we're fixing to. And I know a lot of people right now, they're going to be like, oh, that's pump. Hold on. Oh, yeah. Hold on. We'll show you what's going on. Oh, yeah. I got to do that. I got to grab it. Um, so what's happening is uh, this gas is going to come out real fast. It's race fuel. It just flies yeah. right out of the pump, I, I think. It could be true. Look at that, though. What a, it's a different color thing. I'm pushing the right thing. We'll pull over by the store and test it. I wish I could be getting fueling. Oh. Okay, what oh. are you doing? Oh, it's flying right out. It's flying right out? Faster than any gas I've ever filled up with. What are you getting E85 for? My truck. This truck? Yeah. And we have a free thing that they give you online for it. What is that? Where do you get it free at? If you look on uh, Facebook or one of the social medias, you just sign up for it and they send you a free $10 card. Wish we knew that before we got here. Next time. <laughs> and awesome. So does E85 make the truck run better too, you think? Or? Yeah. And it's cheaper. Here it's a little more expensive, but the other one, the one closer to my house is a little cheaper. Where's the other one at? Oh, what was your name? Alex. Alex. Thank you. A dollar sixty. Here we go. Red line. Wait a minute. What are you doing here? Again, using the supplied pipette. I'm reading instructions for once. For what? On how to test this race fuel. I'm not putting janky fuel in the can <laughs> am. That's going to just mess everything up. We only use the best around here, okay? Right. And we have a pipette and a test tube right in, in hand. This is a pipette. Oh, or a pipette. I don't know. Again, using the pipette, fill the test tube to the red line with your E85. Okay, listen to this. We need to get water. I'm gonna get water. We'll be back after we get water. I'm gonna go in and get it. What's going on here now? I have to do science. Yeah? Obviously, because I have a test tube and I have a pipette. Why else would I have that if I wasn't science? Say it again, what now? I said, I'm obviously doing science, because if I wasn't, why would I have this scientifical devices? Yeah. Why would I have these? There's nothing like testing your E85 at the gas station. Well, because I'm gonna demand my money back. 
Are you going to do what? I'm going to go demand our money back if this isn't E85. Thank you. Yeah. Anyways, the way we're going to do this is we're going to, to this first line, it marked H2O, scientific term, I'm sorry, water. That's what we call it in science, H2O. We're going to go ahead and fill up. I never had to go in and buy water because I found one. I want to use roomish temperature instead of ice cold. I don't know if it makes a difference in my head. It seems it would. I don't know, maybe. That's harder for your body. That and it'd I, be nice to have clean water. Who knows, you know? This is just, oh, yeah. I mean, that's clean-ish, probably. I don't know where it came from. Okay, so first I'm using my pipette to suction out some H2O and fill it to this blue line. This is so science, guys. You guys are gonna feel smarter when you're done with this video, <laughs> probably. Hopefully that's enough. It is. Because we're testing. Because we're testing our E85 at the gas station. That's how you should do it. There's no reason for us to do this either. Other than, yeah, there is. It's fine. Let this set. You gotta shake it gently. It say that? Yep. And then you gotta let it sit up and let it settle. On a flat surface standing up. I don't know how flat that is, but well, it's flat-ish. And it's uh, the separation is gonna occur. The water and I'm, the uh, the H2O and the EA. I think you should put it on this flat surface over here. Okay. So. Alright. What's going to happen is the... Uh, we're going to put the camera right here and we're going to let it record. I'm going to zoom in. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. So what's going on here? See that line at the top? Hopefully we can. I, I can't can. Tell. I can see over on, on this the, side. I'm hoping the camera can. It's Shit. way up there. It's like 98. Yeah. We do it this way. Yeah. Anyway, so we think it's good. We're calling it good. I call it two thumbs up good. Um, yeah, so we're, now we got to go do tune. we got to yeah. go tune that car. Yeah, we're just at the gas station testing our ED5. There's no over. reason. Yeah, we have someone pulled over and asked us why. What we're doing. In the love of, in the name of science. There's no reason for us to do it. Hooligans! There's no reason for us to do testing at the station because it's not like we're going to give the fuel back. But why not? Why there's no reason for us to not? We did it, uh, and that's what's going down, and uh, what's going to happen now? I said. What's next? What's next is we we're going to go, go tune the car, get it ready to accept this liquid gold, and then we can do some pop pop. Before yeah. we do zero to sixties, I want to. Are you and ready? Smell to the home? fries. We gotta smell the fries. We gotta smell French fries. All right. You ready to be home? Yeah. I'm gonna snap us there. Okay. So here's what's going on today. Yeah, we're still dealing with this a little bit. Um, can't go into detail, but I think we're at the end of this, where this journey ends for us, and the next journey begins, whatever that may be. Not saying exactly for sure what that is yet. I think a few people have figured it out. Uh, comment down below if you have figured it out. Those carnivores are currently on the Can-Am uh, wheels, but the beadlocks are not. You know, there's no beadlock set up for them yet. So, I mean, the beadlock is not mounted yet. They don't have air. So for what we're gonna do today, I need those. For what we're gonna do in this video, I need those because we're gonna do, you know, I'm sure you saw it on the video already, zero to 60. Uh, on E85. So Brandy's gonna be back with us here in a little bit and we're gonna do that. In the meantime, we gotta get a few things ready, so let's do that. Is that 
ridiculous or what? I don't have 32 off-road tires. We don't run uh, we don't run dirt enough to justify. That's my New Year's resolution. To run more uh, dirt. Anyway, we're gonna run these. These are carnivores. I like the way they look. They look ridiculous compared to the 32s that are over here. They look tiny and weak and like a joke, but we need them to run zero to 60s because we can't exactly drive these on the well, pavement. Technically, it could be a really expensive test. That would be an expensive test. Yeah, these are not cheap. Anyway, that's what we're doing. We're going to uh, get this thing. We're almost done. We're going to swap these out, and uh, next you'll see some zero to 60s. Uh, what are we doing here, sir? Well, this is something a little bit different for us because change of season. It's, uh, I mean, it would be getting pretty close to dark anyway, but, well, that's not true. In the middle of summer, it'd still be really bright right now. Yeah. It's dark because, you know, it's winter time. It's cold out. I realize that it's, uh, it wouldn't be obvious by my attire, but I run a little bit warm. That's so how he does it. Probably, it's actually only 49 degrees out, so for some people, that's not really cold. That's cold for us. That's cold for us. Anyway, uh, this is a new location over here in Mexico that we found. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to do a little bit of zero to 60. And I think I already said this earlier when I was swapping out the tires. Um, we... Uh, Why are we doing zero to 60? What changed on the car that we well, need to do it? Well, that's you know, that E85 thing. Right. That's what I was getting at. But uh, the reason we're running the car right now, because it's not tuned on E85 yet, the reason we're running it right now is because we had to run different tires, and that's a whole different story. And the weather's different, and we want to kind of have a baseline based on what it's like now weather-wise on these tires. Yeah, so we're doing a baseline run because all of the 0 to 60, I think I said this earlier, but all of the 0 to 60 uh, draggy videos we've done were about comparing, some people get confused. I said this earlier. We're only comparing one tune to the next. Our car Against stock to the car. next tune. Our car from that tune to the next tune. That's it. Not just so that you can say, hey, you know, those tunes really do something because we've had people ask that. Anyway, long, long story. I'm rambling on. We're going to run the car right now, get a baseline on the tires that we have now. What are we running on tires? Carnivores? Yes. Oh, sí. Gracias, señor. Buenos días. You too. Yeah talking to our Mexican friends. They're just making sure, giving us authorization. Bye. Right? Right. So. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, first things first. Let's just mention this, we got a new toy. See that? Or, okay. Wow. I could still see it on the camera, the little green flashing light. That's cool. This is easier to see. It is the new um, DJI Mavic Mini 2. Palm size, fun size. So hopefully we actually will use this one because uh, it's not as cumbersome. We have that Phantom 3 standard, which is an awesome drone, but it's just, it was too bulky for us to be carrying around in the car and putting up in the air and stuff. So we're getting rid of that one. We got this one instead. So far so good on uh, usability, right? Oh yeah, way good. So that's where we're at. I'm going to turn this off until we get uh, all of our stuff set up for these uh, 0 to 60s for our baseline runs prior to our E85. Um, right here, Here we go. Here we go.
video, babe. Take it right out. I need to hear it from people. I wonder what that looked like. Number wise, I'm dragging. Curious. Great contact. because of the nighttime and the lights, but yeah. I saw that second run in four-wheel drive, your first four-wheel drive run. I saw a lot of wheelies, a little hot pop. Yeah, it's crazy. A little, the pop pop brings well, the hot pop. Definitely back to the wheelies. So Is that true? That's you like that, huh? Ooh, look. I, thought, I saw some good numbers. Let's see what we got. Wow, okay. Better than you thought? Better than I thought, yeah. Wow, yeah, holy moly. That might be our Whoa. fastest time ever. 393. Um, so, is it, I mean. So it looks like we ran a 409, a 404, and a 393. Holy ball, and the 409 and the 404 were in two wheel drive. We only ran one. No, 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 that would be dumb. Oh. Here. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, no. Look at oh. that though. 417 in that's two wheel not, drive. That's not now. Oh. Look at the dates. Oh, that's today's the night. So these, oh. only four of them. Okay. That 464 is in two wheel drive. Everything else is full drive. So 409, 409 invalid. 404, four, uh, 393. Wow, so, man. Oh, man, I, I can't wait to see what it does. I'm, I can't believe it And that's believe a lot that. of wheelies. We couldn't get that with the wheelies. Before. Doing the wheelies, we couldn't get those times. No. And it pulled pretty hard. It's I could hear it. It sounded like it was breaking loose a lot, but uh, but I saw it that one time. And look at this. Look at the road. It tells the story. All right. All right, let's get loaded up. You get the... You get a... What's this guy's name? Um, we have Trip. Rip. Oh, my God. We named him Rip. You know what? Rip, really? What? Uh, uh, R.I.P. Rest in peace. Oh no shit! I thought about that a couple times. Well, there's that. So uh, the drone's name is Zip. <laughs> you don't have to put that in the video if you don't want. Oh, here we go. All right, so uh, just got done running the zero to 60s tonight. That's all we can do right now. We're going to go home and get the fuel drained out of this, the 100 octane, and so we can retune. And you got those numbers, right? I got the numbers. What were they? We got um, a, 40, a, not, a 409, but that was invalid. Then we got a 404, oh, valid, the, well, okay. and a 393. So that 393, uh, so I was actually really, I didn't, I expected to be four oh five range uh because, that's a great number like well because when we finally got this car on the four rwi x100 when we finally got got it back or finally got it in the threes we had uh done all kinds of like adjustments to the s suspension and stuff just because and the reason we did that i know that kind of breaks the rule we said we're comparing tune to tune to tune with the car the same but what happened is when we went from the three rwi 
uh, to the four RWI X100, uh, we started pulling the front wheels up and it slowed the car down. We Way up. up and spinning real bad. Yeah. yeah. So it actually, we got a little bit slower right off the bat. Yeah. So uh, we didn't do any of that this time and we pulled off a 393 or 398. 393. 393. 393. I think that's our fastest time. Yeah. That's on car on heavy tires. Four wheel drive. It's cold. We were in tor at four wheel drive. Or I'm sorry. I launched in two wheel drive, and I don't know if the back tires ever quit spinning until I let off. Okay. So well, here's the deal. Um, I said so I'm new. I want. A lot of people have questioned, uh, you know, us trying out the 85. A lot of people are waiting for that. So here it is. We're gonna try it. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. We're almost there. Yeah, we're almost there, guys.